Hey guys, what's up? Levi here with Food Fight BFX, and I'm bringing you an exciting tutorial based off the new Netflix Avatar live action series. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you guys how to create these avatar eyes uh, when the avatar goes into the avatar state. It's a fairly simple process. This tutorial won't take very long, so tune in and let's get started. All right, so we've created a new composition with our footage. And it's just simply of our actor with no effects applied to it. He looks up and he opens his eyes. The first thing that we're going to need to do in order to apply this effect is track his eyes. Now in After Effects, there's lots of different ways you can track. There is a motion tracking uh, window that you guys can open. But as usual, I like to use Mocha AE. So that's what we're going to use. So we'll go to Effect, go to Boris FX Mocha, and choose Mocha AE, and then launch Mocha. I'm gonna start on the last frame, and I'm just gonna take our x line tool, I'm gonna to zoom in with the mouse wheel, and I'm just going to draw a shape around his eye. The next thing I'm gonna do is click on this Show Planar Surface button, and move our planar surface to the center of his pupil here. This is essentially representing the center of his eye. Now since we're starting on the last frame, once I've done that, I'll track backwards. Now I only want to track to the point about right here when he starts to open his eye. And once I've done that, I'll click on this button here. This is the set the layer point to current frame. And we've got our track essentially. So we'll rename the track from layer one. We'll rename this left eye track. We'll lock the layer. And going back to the last frame, I'll take the x spline tool and we'll draw a shape now around the other eye. We'll do the same thing with uh, moving our planar surface tool to the center of his eye, and then we'll track backwards. All right, perfect. So now we've got a track of the right eye, and the planar surface is staying right in the center of his pupil. That's what we want. We'll double click on layer two, and we'll name this right eye track and then we'll lock the layer. And that's it, that's all we have to do inside of Mocha. We can go ahead and close and make sure to click save. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two null objects, one for the left eye and one for the right eye. So we'll go to layer, new, null object, layer, new, null object. So we've got two null objects here, one for the left eye, one for the right eye. And we'll go ahead, we'll rename these layers. So we'll say left eye null and right eye null. We'll then click on our footage, drop down the tracking data feature. We'll create the track data and we'll choose right eye track and hit OK. We'll take the export option and change it to transform. And then we'll click on the right eye null as the export layer and click apply export and as you see the right eye null object is now positioned directly centered pupil for the right eye now we'll do the same thing we'll hit create track data we'll choose left eye track hit ok and then change the layer export to the left eye null and apply that export and now that has moved our null object for the left eye to the center of his eye so I'll go to the last frame again, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating those eyes. So I'll shut off the null object so we can't see them. I'll zoom in here. I'll go to Layer, New, Solid, and we'll make a perfectly white solid. And I'll name this one Left Eye Mask. I'll then shut it off so that we can't see it. And we're gonna start creating some masks here. So with that layer selected, We'll take the ellipse tool and we'll draw an elliptical shape around the center pupil of his eye and then just sort of position it in place. We'll do the same thing for the rest of his eye. And then lastly, we'll take the pen tool and we'll come in here and we will draw a shape around the inside of his eyelids.
All right, once that's done, we can go ahead and turn the solid back on and we'll take mask three and we'll turn that to intersect. What that's gonna do is it's going to remove everything from the other two masks that's outside the boundaries of this pink mask. I'll hit the M key twice and take mask two and lower the opacity. I'll then feather mask one. I'll feather mask two a bit. And then we'll feather mask three just slightly. And if we take a look at that, we've got this glowing eye. It's looking good so far, but we're not finished. So the next step is we're going to take the left eye mask and we're going to change the blending mode to screen. We're then going to go to effect channel and we'll choose solid composite and we'll composite it over a black background. Now, since the blending mode is screen, the black will disappear. The next thing we're going to do is add some fractal noise. We're going to add some, some cloudiness to this layer. So we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and choose fractal noise. We'll increase the brightness. We'll go to the transform dropdown and we'll decrease the scale. And then we'll double click where it says evolution. And we'll alt and click on the stopwatch next to evolution and we'll type in time times 100. What that's going to do is offer some random animation. Okay. The next thing we'll do is we'll take the blending mode and we'll shut it to multiply. And now you guys can see we've got uh, some nice noise. Now we got to color it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, choose Curves. And we're aiming for a blue color. So we'll go to the red channel and we'll just lower that here with a curve like that. We'll go to the blue channel and we'll bump that up until we have a nice blue color. And then the last step is to add glow. I like to use Red Giant's glow effect. It's called Optical Glue. But you can use the built-in After Effects glow as well. I'll lower the amount a little bit. And there we go. We've got the glowing eye. Now the last step that we need to do is turn those null objects back on. What we want to do is move the anchor point of the mask to the uh, same position that the null object is in. So what we'll do is we'll click on the pan behind tool. This is our anchor point tool. This allows us to manually move the anchor point and we'll put that right where the null object is. And then we'll hit the P key to bring up position. And we'll take the left eye null, we'll hit the P key there. And we're just gonna pick with the mask to the null object's position. And there you have it. It's now tracked and following along with that null object. So we'll go to that frame that we, that uh, we first started doing the track. We'll take the left eye mask and we'll trim the layer down so it starts right there. And if we preview this, you'll see that when he opens his eye, it immediately comes on and it's tracked. So the next step is actually pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the left eye mask by selecting it and holding down control and hitting the B key. We'll rename this right eye mask. We'll hit P to bring up the position. We'll go to the null object for the right eye and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick with the right eye mask's position to the right eye null's position. We'll then take the right eye mask, right click, go to transform, we'll flip it horizontally and then we just have to rotate it a little bit since his head is tilted until it lines up and we're all set. We're good to go. So fairly simple guys, as you guys can see, we just did a simple track. We then created some masks. We applied the tracking data to those masks, added some glow and some color. And before you know it, we've got this really cool effect here. So that's it folks. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, please like and follow the page. 
as well as hit the bell notification icon so you get updates whenever we go live. The best way to support this channel is, of course, just to subscribe to it and watch all the tutorials that we release. Um, once again, this is Levi with Toothpipe BFX. We'll see you next time.